I uh, managed to break the French press uh, that our host uh, for us. It was already breaking when we got here, but it tipped over, and that is the shattered remains that uh, resulted from that. We're going to make something called cowboy coffee. That, uh, at least that's what I call it. I think that's the thing. Um, so we're going to see how this goes. I've not done this before. I have no idea what I'm doing. So the first thing we need here is water, of course. I have no idea how much water we actually need. Uh, but I do have my ember mug, which uh, I know holds about 10 ounces. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and use that to uh, pour some water here. I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and use, I think, two of these roughly. We're going to shoot for about 16 ounces. Uh, now we are in Mexico, so uh, the water here should be filtered, but I'm planning on this water boiling anyhow. So I'm going to go ahead and do three. Why not? Now, actually, it should be super simple. All I have to do is heat it up. So I'm going to turn now here, get some fire. We're going to just sit here and wait for it to boil. Enjoy. Uh, actually, I lost. All right, the water is boiling now. So I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit and keep it boiling, not quite as much. And I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Oh no. Well, coffee goes in there. You get the idea. Well, this appetizing little concoction should eventually be our coffee. All right, I think it's about ready. I have uh, turned off the heat. So now, just like a real cowboy, I'm gonna reach over here and get my oven mitt. Well, that actually went much more smoothly than I expected. A compost. Yeah. All right. I'm pouring this left-handed. I'm pouring it in the sink so I can hold the phone. And we will see how this goes. Hey. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I do think I'll probably stick with the French press, if nothing else, to make a little bit less of a mess. But, I mean, in a pinch, um, now I know for sure it's possible to make some pretty decent coffee with just a pot, pretty much. Pot and some water. So, I think that's it for experimenting for today. Uh, I still have the coffee here with me. Um, I've had some time now to kind of think about it, and I have been pouring in from the leftovers from the pot, and uh, it's pretty good, honestly. I mean, the for taste, it's not that different. Um, I feel like the grounds actually add something in little ways. It's, if I had to choose a word, more robust than um, in the uh, French press. Um, so if... I didn't have a French press, or really even if I just felt like a heartier cup of coffee, I might go with this. So anyway, just wanted to pass that on. Hope you all enjoyed learning about this with me.